Hey guys, it's Whitney and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys like my setup because it's Christmas time. I'm so excited. So of course I had to set up and film this video in front of the Christmas tree because like, why not? But if you guys did not know, I'm a 38 weeks pregnant and I thought it was the perfect time to show you guys everything that I packed in my hospital bag. I am due December 18th, so it's very close to Christmas, but I'm hoping he comes out earlier so I don't have a Christmas baby, but like, it is what it is, you know? But I honestly cannot believe that I am filming this video. I just thought like the other day, I just found out I was pregnant or that I was only like 20 weeks finding out the gender of the child, but no, here I am 38 weeks pregnant filming this video for you guys. Let's just get into the video. So this is my bag. It's just a bag that I've had before. I actually took it from my mom. So the first thing in my bag is a pair of slippers. Apparently your feet get very swollen and they're just comfy and easy to slip on while you're at the hospital. So I packed a bag or packed a pair of slippers. So I've heard a lot of different things with towels so some say hospital ones are fine some say bring your own so i'm just gonna bring my own play it safe and call it a day i am planning on breastfeeding so i got my own breast pump i do have the mom cozy s pro 9 this is the breast pump i'm bringing it some say to bring it some say you don't i'm just bringing it in general i've heard so many different things about bring this don't bring that bring this don't bring that i'm just bringing whatever I feel is needed. I packed two Freedom Mom ice pack things. A lot of people say that the hospitals carry all of that, but I just wanna bring my own stuff just in case. Like I don't like the hospitals and I like my using my own stuff better. It's honestly, for me, if I end up using the hospital stuff or if I use my own, it's whatever's comfortable for me is what I'm going for, so. I'm just bringing the whole pack because I don't want to unpack it. But it's the Freedom Mom Boy Short Briefs. I got the Perry bottle. I'm not going to take it out, but I'll put a picture here in case you guys want to know what it looks like. And I packed the healing foam as well. I did end up getting like my own disposable underwear. I think is what this is called. I'm only packing three because of course I also have the Freedom Mom ones and not really sure. And I'm also 100% sure that hospitals do provide things like that. So didn't want to overpack with the boy shorts and briefs and underwear. And then I also packed a lot of sink pad liners, which, okay, extra, whatever. I packed the Calm Your Nip Balm. Now on to my toiletry. So the first thing I packed was a hairbrush and a hair tie. The next thing I did is I got razors. Now these are very cheap ones, but you know, I'm just gonna throw them away when I'm at the hospital done using them anyways. And then I did get me and my boyfriend new toothbrushes just to use at the hospital and then throw them away. So they're a pack of two. And then I packed all my other toiletries in this cute little tiny bag. So the first thing in the bag is I got deodorant. I got the Suave. Honestly, I have no idea how my skin is going to react to this because I use Honest deodorant or Honest. I use Native deodorant. So we're just going to hope that my arms do fine with this for a couple of days. And then the next thing that I got is the Olay body wash. I use Olay body wash, just a different like scent and stuff. So I'm excited to try this one out. And the next thing that I got is the Cetaphil daily facial cleanser for your oily skin. And I used to use this all the time. I'm currently using a different face wash, but I used to use this and I use the moisturizer on my body all the time. So I know this works on my skin. For shampoo and conditioner, it's not the best brand, but I got the Garnier Fructuous Sleek and Shine. Probably saying this and butchering the words, but I got these shampoo and conditioners to use. I got Crest 3D White Travel Size, just looks like this. That's everything that I packed for toiletries. Now we're just going to head on to the clothing items. I've heard from many people that you can stay from one day to three days or you can stay like two days. Like there's like a, it really depends on like how you're doing, how the baby's doing and everything. 
So I probably overpacked some clothes, but like, you can never have enough. So the first thing that we have packed is fuzzy socks because of course you want to keep your feet nice and warm. And then I just packed some normal socks. I packed two pairs of like my normal ankle socks just in case as well. But the next thing that I packed was some nursing bras. I did get these at Target. They were like the two for 20. They're just the plain bralette ones. Also got a little more stable bra where it has actual padding and then it has the clips where you can just unclip it i also got this at target as well i did originally pack a pair of biker shorts and then this crew neck for my going home outfit but now because obviously it's winter and stuff I might wear pants instead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was like 35, 36 weeks and I originally packed this bag and when that time was happening, it was not 20 degrees outside. And in my head, I knew it was gonna be winter, but I was like, oh, I'm like overheating and whatever. And it's like 50 degrees outside. So might as well still pack shorts. Cause like I packed a plain black shirt just cause who does not love a plain black t-shirt. Also packed the button up short sleeve shirt from Target with like the matching shorts. I've heard so many great things about this that apparently it's very helpful and easy when trying to breastfeed and everything. So I got one of those. I got the long sleeve green stars above from Target as well. Honestly, I got so much stuff from Target. And then I got the flare pants. Because I've heard so many things where people are like, oh, I just want to be comfy. Like, you just want to be comfy after giving birth. You don't want anything tight or restricted. So, I got these flare pants that I've heard so many people talk about. And then, I got some Christmas PJ pants for the hospital as well. So, that was everything that I packed for clothing. And then, the last thing that I'm packing is this marker. For baby boys like announcement sign and everything i got a sign to put like his whole like stats and everything but that's packed in his bag so i guess the marker happened to be in my bag that was everything that i packed in my hospital bag being 38 weeks pregnant and a first time mom but i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe and comment all down below for more pregnancy content we only have two more weeks till baby boy comes and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video